A strange sight in the sky over Oahu caught the attention of many people. Look at that. And, you know, she looked up and was like, wow, that's an angel. All right, that remarkable cloud formation was caught on camera not far from the Ferraro family home. Before we begin, it is important to clarify that there are different types of angels. Various religions around the world use the figure of angels in their beliefs, which means there are several distinct interpretations. However, in this video, I will address the interpretation of angels by Christians, specifically by Catholics. You may recognize some divisions and names if you are not a Christian or a Catholic, but there may be some differences. Angels are not gods, but rather divine beings that emerged from the divine. According to Christian tradition, they were created by God to serve as intermediaries between humanity and the divine. Their wings facilitate transportation between earth and heaven. Angels do not have births, deaths, reproductive abilities, or a definitive form, although they can assume a human form. They have no weight or height, and it is not known exactly when they were created. The only thing known is that they were present since the beginning of the creation of the earth. Despite being more intelligent than humans, angels are not omniscient. They are always close to God and ready to help humanity, although the exact number of angels is unknown. The book of Revelation indicates there are millions and millions and thousands of thousands. During the Middle Ages, various theologians attempted to divide angels into angelic choirs. Pseudo. Dionysius and Thomas Aquinas made a division according to the Bible, starting from the bottom up. The angels closest to humans are found in this sphere and interfere in our lives. It is believed that these angels can play a role. The role of divine messengers is to convey important messages to humans when necessary. Additionally, due to their proximity to God, these angels possess great power and wisdom, capable of indirectly influencing our lives through prayers and devotion. Guardian angels are those closest to us, appointed by God to protect and guide each individual from birth to death. It is commonly believed that each person has a personal guardian angel, acting as a spiritual guardian protecting against physical and spiritual dangers, as well as guiding on the right path. However, it is important to emphasize that guardian angels occupy a lower hierarchical position compared to other angels. Nevertheless, they care for and guide humans, often providing warning signs when something bad may happen. That sense of foreboding may be your guardian angel trying to warn you. Archangels are tasked by God to carry out missions beyond human understanding, with the most well-known probably being Michael, explicitly called an archangel in the Bible. A biblical passage in Jude 9 mentions Michael as one of the archangels who contended with a demon for the body of Moses, without pronouncing a curse, but only saying, The Lord rebuke you. In addition to Michael, the archangel explicitly called an archangel in the Bible. There are other notable archangels, including Gabriel and Raphael, who play significant roles in religious tradition. Although Gabriel is not explicitly called an archangel in the Bible, his presence is often associated with the role of God's primary messenger. Gabriel is notorious for being the divine messenger who conveys important messages from God to humans. He plays a crucial role in key moments in the scriptures, such as when he announces the birth of Jesus to Mary, and when he reveals to Zechariah the birth of John the Baptist. Gabriel's figure is often linked to celestial communication and the delivery of essential divine messages. Another notable archangel is Raphael, whose name means God has healed. Raphael is associated with healing and protection, especially in the context of travelers. In religious tradition, Raphael is often invoked as the guardian of those on journeys, offering protection and assistance during their travels. He is recognized as a divine agent providing healing and comfort to those in need. Although the Bible specifically mentions Michael, Gabriel, and Raphael, religious tradition recognizes the existence of seven archangels. In addition to those mentioned, other archangels are cited in different traditions such as Muriel and Jophiel. 
these archangels may have specific functions and distinct divine assignments. Although the exact details of their identities and roles may vary among different religious beliefs and sacred texts, each archangel is believed to have a specific mission in various areas of human life. In addition to being messengers, they are responsible for conveying God's will to other angels and humans, often described as celestial warriors who fight against the forces of evil, leading celestial forces against Satan. The powers play a crucial role in the celestial and earthly world, responsible for conveying warnings and instructions to world leaders, including rulers, kings, and princes. Their function goes beyond this, taking care of the well-being of cities, countries, states, and continents, working to maintain harmony and peace in the world. According to sacred scriptures, the powers are mentioned several times, such as in the book of Daniel, where the angel Gabriel speaks about the prince of Persia and the prince of Israel. Celestial beings are believed to play a fundamental role in planning and executing divine plans, working together with other angels to protect humanity and maintain order in the universe. However, the powers are also known to be strict with those who ignore God's warnings and go against His will, often appearing with a crown and, on some occasions, carrying a cross representing faith and devotion. Although many may consider the powers subordinate to higher classes of angels, their importance in the celestial hierarchy is unquestionable. Their role is vital to maintaining balance and justice in the world, ensuring that the divine will is being fulfilled. Therefore, we should always remember the importance of the powers and thank them for their protection and guidance in our lives. The second sphere is one of the most important in the universe, situated between heaven and earth. Inhabiting this sphere are angelic beings who constantly carry out God's orders, maintaining cosmic order and assisting in the fulfillment of divine will. Additionally, these celestial entities often engage in spiritual battles against the forces of evil, fighting to protect the divine plan. Angels in this sphere are also responsible for conveying divine messages to humans, acting as celestial messengers whose messages are always of love, peace, and guidance. These beings of light have the ability to bring comfort and hope in difficult times, reminding us of the presence of a higher force guiding our lives. According to some beliefs, we can connect with these angels. By contacting these angels through prayer and meditation, we can seek their guidance and help whenever needed. They are always willing to assist and guide us on the path of life and love, helping us fulfill our divine mission here on earth. Therefore, we can trust them and follow their advice, knowing that we are being guided by divine beings of light and love. These angels possess great powers of concentration, being responsible for conveying and transforming divine thoughts. They are typically represented holding a flaming sword to ward off demons, in addition to caring for the memory and history of humanity, as well as animals and elements, such as water, earth, fire, and air. These angels, known as powers, are often portrayed as celestial warriors with armor and swords, ready to protect and fight against evil. Their function is to maintain divine order in the universe, and ensure the prevalence of good over evil. Moreover, they are responsible for conveying the divine will to other angelic orders, such as principalities and dominions. This distinction is relevant because among the demons, there are fallen angels. If you are interested in a video addressing the types of demons, please leave a comment. These angels play a fundamental role in the execution of divine tasks, helping overcome obstacles and strengthening faith. They can perform miracles and usually appear in the form of youths holding a staff or rod, also depicted as winged beings with rays of light emanating from their bodies, symbolizing the divine energy flowing through them. In addition to strengthening faith and protecting people against evil forces and obstacles in life, angels also have power over nature, calming storms, waves, and earthquakes. Dominions, known as ministers of God, are described as beings with great authority and power who act as rulers and divine judges. 
They have knowledge of right and wrong, and the ability to inspire humans to act according to God's will. They are those who do what is necessary for God's will to be fulfilled, associated with divine justice, and often appearing in sacred scriptures as those who punish or reprimand those who disobey God. They are represented carrying a sword, a symbol of their power and authority over demons and evil forces, acting to prevent the universe from falling out of balance. Among angels, thrones are the oldest, carrying the scepter and a sword symbolizing their power over the lower choirs. They are the angels closest to God, dedicated to praising Him and awaiting the mysteries. They are described as beings of great stature and beauty, often depicted as celestial warriors equipped with armor and swords. They have great authority and power, serving as intermediaries between the higher hierarchies of angels and humans. Thrones protect divine power and also assign missions to angels of lower hierarchies. They often appear in the form of youths or in the midst of a swirling light, always holding a harp or a musical instrument, as they greatly appreciate music, which is what keeps God's throne. The angels of the throne are often. These angels, due to their dedication to God, are always ready to do His will and execute His designs, never questioning or hesitating. For this reason, they are seen as examples of service and submission to God. After the story of Adam and Eve, who were expelled from the Garden of Eden by God, angels were given the task of protecting the location, the Tree of Life, and the Divine Records. These angels are known as cherubim and are represented as winged creatures with heads of bull, man, eagle, and lion. Over time, the image of cherubim has been softened, portrayed as children, as in Raphael's painting in Italy where a cherub is depicted as a chubby boy. In some traditions, cherubim are also described as beings with many eyes, symbolizing their ability to see everything. They are considered to be the angels closest to God and dedicated to praising and worshiping Him. Seraphim are among the oldest, purest, and highest angels, responsible for protecting the Holy Throne. They are described as having three pairs of wings, one pair to cover their faces so as not to constantly look at God, one pair for logical flight, and another to cover their feet. In some accounts, it is said that instead of covering their feet, these pairs of wings cover their genitals, as they do not reproduce and therefore do not have genitals. In Hebrew, the name seraphim means the burning ones, which is why, in most representations, they always appear enveloped in flames or with a silver ray. A well-known example of such an angel is Metatron, considered the supreme angel and the scribe of God. He is often represented as a colossal being with wings and several pairs of eyes and wings, symbolizing his omniscience and omnipresence. According to tradition, Metatron is one of the few angels who can communicate directly with God and receive divine instructions. Another mentioned being is Leviathan, the oceanic monster a giant serpent that can be associated with seraphim, although it is a fallen angel. If you wish for a specific video about fallen angels, please leave a comment. I'm delighted to know that you watched the video. I hope the information was interesting and enlightening for you. Your opinion is very important to us, so please take a moment to rate the video by clicking the like button. Additionally, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, I invite you to subscribe to receive notifications about new content. By subscribing, you not only strengthen the community, but also ensure that you won't miss any future videos. We are committed to providing quality and informative content, and your participation is essential for the channel's growth. If you have any suggestions for topics for future videos, or if you want more information on a specific topic, please leave your comment. Interaction with our audience is crucial to customize content according to your interests. I greatly appreciate your continued support and the opportunity to share knowledge. I hope to see you again in our upcoming videos. Thank you for your attention. And until next time.